Hey everyone, it is Dr. Steve Orma, and today I want to answer the question, um, do supplements or herbal remedies work for insomnia? So supplements and herbal remedies are uh, really widely used for sleep problems, for insomnia. Um, virtually every single client that comes to me for help is, has either tried a variety of supplements and, and herbals or uh, are currently using them. And um, so, you know, it's important that uh, I thought I'd make a video talking about it because because they're so widely gone to. Now, first of all, what are supplements and herbal remedies? So supplements uh, would be, you know, things like magnesium, melatonin, um, kind of like certain types of vitamins or minerals that are thought to, you know, that, that thought to help or enhance sleep. Um, I'd say melatonin and magnesium are probably the, the most popular or widely used, but there's just all kinds of different supplements that people might take for uh, insomnia or for sleep problems. Um, herbal remedies are things like uh, valerian root or kava kava or ashwagandha or I mean there's just a, there's just a slew of of these different uh, um, herbal remedies and supplements that people take for um, for sleep and so the question I want to answer is that do they work um, for for insomnia like if you have insomnia you've had it for a while. Um, you're having difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep or you're waking up early in the morning. Um, do these, can you take these supplements and, and kind of cure, or get rid of your insomnia? And the, the short answer to this is no, not even close. So, you know, so, so, so then, you know, why do people take them? Well, um, you know, people take herbal remedies or supplements because insomnia is a major problem and they're suffering and it's very painful not to sleep and these are you know um, widely advocated or suggested by doctors by um, you know if you go on a lot of websites it's just kind of everywhere right that that um, you take these supplements and they're going to help you sleep now why don't they work well first of all like they're not really that well researched um, herbal remedies and supplements for sleep or for insomnia. They're not really, there's, there isn't a lot of studies that have been done on this. Um, so there really isn't much, if any, scientific, you know, proof or validation for these supplements. And, and like a supplement company or herbal company, they really don't because they're not a drug they're not, um, they don't have to follow the guidelines of the FDA. They don't have to go through like, you know, studies and tests and, and kind of prove the effectiveness of, of their, of their remedy. They can basically just sell it. And, um, because it's in this, this category of supplements and, and herbals, um, they really don't have to have any evidence and they can pretty much make any claims that they want. Um, so, you know, that's one problem is you don't, you're taking something, you're putting something into your body that you don't even know is helping and you, you're not even, you, you don't even know exactly what it's doing to your body. Because some of these, some of these things are not harmless. I mean, they, they can, you know, they can, they can definitely affect your body. They can interfere with other medications you're taking or other medical issues. I mean, you know, so you're kind of taking a risk when you're taking these things outside of whether they help with sleep or not um, because there isn't a lot of data on side effects and interactions with these different remedies um, you're taking a risk there okay uh, and you're doing it without getting much if any benefit in terms of your sleep now some people say um, well but like i i've taken melatonin or i've taken um you know, magnesium or ashwagandha or valerian root or whatever, and it helped my sleep. I started sleeping better. And so now what's going on there? Well, number one, there could be some sleep enhancement, right? So it's possible that some of these things actually do help or enhance with sleep. That's one possibility. But 
even if they do, I haven't met one client in, in, in working with insomnia over seven years that has like where it's been a cure. You know, and if you think about it, like 40 million people estimated in the United States alone um, deal with insomnia. And if these herbal remedies, which are they're widely available, they're not that expensive, actually cured insomnia, like virtually no one would have insomnia. It would be just a very easy thing. You just pop a couple of these and your insomnia goes away. And the fact is, is like, that's not the case. Like, um, it's not making a dent in the pop in the, in the problem. So that kind of is, is the strongest evidence that they don't work. The second thing is, um, people will say to me, um, they'll say, well, what's the harm? Like if I take it and I sleep better and it, and it just makes me feel better, you know, like I feel better taking it and then it, and then it, and then it works. What's the harm in taking it? Well, this is what's called the placebo effect, right? The placebo effect is a well-documented phenomenon in, uh, in medicine and in my field of psychology that if you believe something works, if you take a pill or some kind of, yeah, pill usually, or medication or some kind of remedy, and you believe it's going to work or it is working, then it actually has a positive effect because our belief um, you know, our mind and, and the, the mind body connection is so strong that if you really believe something, it could have a physiological effect. So let's say you really believe your friend said, Oh, I took uh, magnesium and man, it really helped my sleep. And you, and then now you have this belief implanted and you read all over the internet. Okay. Oh yeah. These things work really well for sleep. And then you take it, you're going in with a, a belief already that this thing is going to help your sleep. And then so that night you kind of feel more relaxed, you're more confident, you take the remedy, whatever it is, and you sleep better. And then the next morning you conclude, right? You make an association that, oh, the reason I slept better was because of the valerian root or because of the melatonin. And that even strengthens the belief and the placebo effect and reinforces it. So then you want to take it again. And then you're, then you, you're continuing to sleep well. And then when you don't take it, you, you, you start to worry and you start to think, well, I didn't take my, whatever it was tonight. And then as a result, you don't sleep as well, but do you see the, with the placebo effect? It's the belief that's actually causing you to sleep because the mind does have a, a powerful effect on the body. This is not just true with sleep, but this is true with, with pain. This is true with, um, you know, other uh, medical issues. So um, it's a real thing, right? And that placebo effect can actually improve, um, you know, improve your sleep in this case. Now, the question is, what's the harm then? Well, the harm is that, number one, the placebo effect doesn't last. Number two you're giving credit to your sleep. If the if it is the placebo effect and not the, the herbal or the supplement, then you're giving credit to this external remedy rather than your own ability to sleep, right? With the placebo effect, it's your belief that your body, it's your belief that actually makes you sleep. It's not the herbal remedy, right? Um, and it's the belief which is within you that you can sleep that causes you to sleep better. So what that means is you don't need the herbal remedy. You just need the belief. Okay. The problem is the herbal remedy or the supplement undermines your belief because you believe that you're sleeping better because you're taking this, 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 this remedy and you're giving it credit. And therefore it forms this belief that I need this, you know, herbal remedy or supplement to sleep or to sleep better. And if I don't take it, I'm not going to sleep as well. And so it puts, it, it takes away your confidence in your own ability to sleep on your own without any external remedy and, and puts the power into the herbal supplement that you're taking. And that's dangerous because in the short term, it might have a positive effect. In the long term, it's going to increase your anxiety and your uncertainty that you have the ability to sleep. And that's something that feeds into the, to, to the insomnia. So it makes the problem worse over time. Okay. So what we want is a real solution here. Okay. And the reason why herbal supplements remedies don't can't get rid of the insomnia, 
even if they might have some, some actual uh, improvement in your sleep, the reason why they, they don't get completely rid of the insomnia and you're still, even though you're taking it, you're still dealing with insomnia is they don't get to the root of the problem. And I've talked about this in several previous videos. It's the same problem with, with any kind of medication or drug is they don't address the core underlying things that are driving the insomnia, um, which are your negative sleep thoughts around the sleep or your ability to sleep. Uh, and, and the negative sleep behaviors or poor sleep behaviors that you have adopted unknowingly, usually that created the pattern of insomnia and that are maintaining it right now. If you take an herbal remedy or a supplement, it's not going to change your thoughts about your sleep and it's not going to change your behaviors. It's certainly not going to change your behaviors. Even if it changes your thoughts a little bit, the ultimate way to cure insomnia is through changing your behaviors around your sleep. It's not just changing your mindset and, um, or belief. It's actually changing your behaviors, your actions around your sleep. And there's some core key shifts you need to make to break the pattern of insomnia and reestablish your normal pattern of sleep. The herbal remedy, the supplement, no, that's never going to do that for you. So this is why, you know, the core reason why it doesn't work, even if there's some um, short-term sleep benefit or benefit from the placebo. Okay, so the danger in the supplements is that either it's not going to work at all and you're just going to get more frustrated and hopeless that you're not going to be able to overcome the problem, which just makes the problem worse, or you attribute your ability to sleep to the supplement and you give it the credit and that, that undermines your confidence that you have the ability within you. And that also feeds into the insomnia to overcome insomnia. You have to learn the skills to know how to break the pattern, to stop doing what you're doing that's that's continuing to maintain and feed the insomnia and start to do things that will um, like will reestablish your healthy pattern of sleep uh, and strengthen it and then maintain that to break the pattern of insomnia. And you can only do that by learning these key skills and you're not going to be able to do that with the supplements. Okay. So if you want like a, a more fuller description of what those sort of behavioral shifts, um, and kind of what the treatment process is for insomnia, you can refer to my previous video, which is how, which is, um, how to cure insomnia or the cure for insomnia. And I go in, into more detail. So, um, you know, if you find that helpful, if you're kind of dealing with insomnia, you've been dealing with this for a while, you're frustrated, you're taking the supplements you've tried, you know, go down the list of all the different, uh, supplements and herbal remedies, and it hasn't really done anything for your insomnia and you want help actually getting to the root of the problem, then you could reach out to me. You just go to my website, um, and, and reach out to me and, 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 and I can, uh, I can help you with that. All right. So I hope this was a helpful video today. If you liked it, you could just press, press like if you're on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, you can leave those below and, um, I hope you have a, 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 the rest of your day is good. I'll see you next time.